it would be better if you explain me uh, about yourself yes sir uh, myself uh, ritikesh i am from hyderabad i did my engineering from mahavir institute of science and technology with an aggregate of uh, 69.7 and i did my intermediate from narayana junior college with an aggregate of 93% and i did mm-hmm. my schooling from mnr school of excellence with an aggregate of 87% and coming to my skills my sk- uh, my skills are html css javascript git github bootstrap and currently i am learning react and coming to my short term goal is to like get placed in a reputed company so that i can improve my skills and even help the company to grow thank you sir Okay. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so uh, like you have basic understanding in React JS, right? Yes, sir. Oh, you just started learning it. Yeah. Myself, I am starting learning. Okay, so I will start from the HTML. Okay. 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 So just tell me the difference between HTML and HTML5. HTML is an hypertext markup language, sir, which is used to uh, create the structure of a web page. Uh, just, just tell me new features in HTML5. The HTML5 in new features like we have SVGs, mm-hmm. uh, video tags. Okay. In semant, uh, sir, new in semantic tags mm-hmm. also also new features are listed. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, what is box model? Do you know about it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Box model. So box model is nothing but uh, the web, entire web page will be converted into box model. So the box uh, it has majorly four parts, sir: the content and margin, padding, and border, sir. The uh, content is nothing but the content which we uh, keep on the web page. The mm-hmm. space, the space between the content and the border is known as uh, like uh, margin, sir. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between ID and class? Uh, ID and class both are sele- selector, sir. The ID mm-hmm. should be unique throughout. It should be unique, sir. And the class we can give uh, the same class name. The for ID we use hash symbol, sir. For class we use dot symbol. Okay, so which one has uh, the more priority uh, while studying? Sir, ID has more priority, sir. After that, class. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between let, const, and while? Uh, sir, uh, let is a global scope, sir. Uh, le- le- const and uh, let are uh, recently uh, like new features of the JavaScript, sir. Uh, mm-hmm. wh- where, wh- where, with where we can uh, redeclare and reinitialize, sir. But uh, let and const, we uh, they are com- so- somewhat strict. Uh, const we cannot really uh, redeclare, sir. And let also we cannot re- uh, we can redeclare, but with the different names, sir. Uh, Uh, like uh, in in const uh, we should like we, uh, after a declaration we should immediately initialize the value in const and where 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 can be hosted and let and const uh, can be hosted but it belongs to temporal red zone okay okay got it uh do you know about the media query in css yes sir media query what it does the media queries are used to make the page responsive sir okay like we use uh, uh, at the rate media and screen and we give the minimum height and width and we write the css inside that mm mm-hmm. and that's fine uh, what is the difference between margin and padding yeah Ma- margin margin is nothing but the uh, sp- uh, space between the border and the uh, content sir the Uh, padding in padding, we get the space between the content and the its uh, outer box. Yeah, right. Uh, what is callback function? Callback function. So callback yeah. functions are the uh, functions which is you uh, which is passed into another function. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what is the use of it? Uh, When can we use the callback function? Can you explain? Uh, sir, callback function are mainly used. Uh, sorry, sir, I'm not. I used, but I am unable to tell you. Oh, no, sir. Uh, do you know about the promise? Yes, sir. Promises. Promise. The uh, promise is nothing but uh, it deals with the asynchronous tasks. Sir. We use promise to 
make a function asynchronous uh, it promise can take uh, parameters like resolve and reject uh, and the, and then we can use dot then on uh, dot catch to resolve the errors okay that's fine uh, do you know about the event loop event loop uh, yeah and uh, it will check the call uh, global execution context is empty or not and it will uh, send the micronized task and the uh, uh, task to the global execution context mm -hmm. uh, do you know about the css pre processes uh, sas i know sir, sas uh, syntactically awesome style sheet but uh, mm -hmm. i need to learn that sir which which uh, by that we can make use of variables and routes okay can our browser directly understand the uh, sas or less no sir no no we we should convert that uh, file into css okay. that's fine okay what is ajax ajax i have no idea sir no, no idea but you should be knowing about uh, the ajax yes. I will. I will show. Sure. Okay. Uh, so, uh, can you tell me some Git commands that uh, you you know? Yes, sir. First, yeah. First, we will uh, start with Git status, sir. Git status tells us the status of the pro. Like, uh, it is Git installed or not? Uh, the files are in Git, uh, like uh, added on Git or not? It will tell us. Uh, hmm. Git command like Git add minus m, and we will add message sir, in. For commit git git commit minus m and the message and git add dot adds the all the files into the states so, so that we can commit afterwards and uh, mm -hmm. and some uh, commands uh, they select to push the code into the GitHub git add origin and the code uh, link we should paste and git push git pull and we have so many things. okay uh, just tell me the difference between null and undefined. Uh, uh, undefined is basically a uh, we placeholder kind of thing, sir. Uh, the compiler usually, uh, if we declare any variable, it uh, initially gives the value as undefined. Later, it will assign the given value to it. So null is uh, null is nothing but uh, it stores nothing, sir. So uh, if we uh, uh, console log the variable before it's uh, initializing, so we get the undefined in the way, in the case of where, sir. Okay, so just tell me uh, some new features uh, in ES6. Sir, in ES6 uh, we have arrow functions. Yeah. Template string. Okay. And uh, does uh, let and cost comes under this string, sir? The like VS6. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just tell me uh, the difference between arrow function and normal function. Uh, uh, arrow function is also known as uh, anonymous function sir, because we don't give any name to arrow function it makes the user to make sure write the program in shorter ways sir. to uh, create a arrow function we need the uh, help of uh, fat arrow mm -hmm. yeah normal function is a function uh, which is uh, similar uh, function uh, traditional way sir, like function name uh, function name uh, close the parents and in the inside body we will write the function in the function we like we have declarative and like function declarative function statement uh, function expression okay the arrow function uh, it gets uh, hoisted or not arrow function yeah. uh, i guess it will uh, I, yeah arrow function will get hoisted i think so <laughs> no it will not get hoisted only the arrow function gets hoisted okay okay thanks okay. Uh, what is closure? Sir, closure is nothing but the uh, like the accessing the variables from the parent uh, to the child. Sir. Like it creates uh, it it creates a connection. The child the child uh, the child block will create connection with the parent block so that it can access the uh, variables uh, to the child child element. More I can tell sir on that like. Uh, uh, closure uh, first it will check the uh, uh, block to get the variable if it is not present in that block it will go to outer block if it is not present if it will go to the uh, global block for the variable okay uh, what is this keyword in javascript so this is a result keyword in javascript 
uh, this points to windows actually this actually with uh, with this keyword it is actually we get the output in a window kind of uh, function sir in the console dot mm. this it is a api we can like say that. Uh, you need to uh, learn more about it the, these keywords let's move to the react js okay okay uh, what is react js the react js is actually library sir which is built on the top of javascript with react we can make you uh, actually react is uh, react is made to make the U ui easily sir okay any other things A any features of react js yeah uh, react we rea in react we make use everything is a components the component once we can if we have written one component we can uh, you reuse it again sir we code reusability can be achieved with the react mm -hmm. uh, and we react, yeah we have react uh, react native uh, which is used for mobile applications okay do you know about the jsx yeah java uh, yes sir java Uh, JavaScript HTML file. Yeah. Can you explain a bit more? Yeah. Uh, JSX is uh, actually nothing but the combination of HTML and the JavaScript. We mm -hmm. usually call it. Uh. Can our browser directly understand uh, the JSX? Any idea about it? I think it will not understand. Why? Because. Uh, it's a combination of html js and html file yeah then uh, how we can uh, run it on our browser no idea <laughs> okay actually it will uh, need the transpiler you must be knowing about the babel right okay, okay. yeah i heard about it. it it converts in our jsx to the normal javascript code okay okay do you know about the webpack Do you have any idea? No sir. Okay, no no worries. Uh, do you know about the life cycle methods in React JS? Yes sir. The life cycle methods in React uh, in class basically life cycle comes in the class components. Uh, it we have mount, uh, update, unmount, and error handling methods. Sir, mounting uh, mounting occurs when a uh, component uh, initialized for the first time. Sir. Okay. Update updating occurs when uh, when when we try to update any state or props mm -hmm. uh, error uh, error is used for any error handling method any error handling in the uh, file okay any idea about the unmounting actually unmount is nothing but the that the end of the component life so basically okay so can we uh, achieve those things in uh, functional based component Yeah, uh, I guess hook helps us to do achieve this functionality. Okay. Uh, like uh, how which hook uh, uh, like we can use to achieve these things? Uh, use state, I guess. No, no. Using use effect, uh, we can achieve the life cycle methods in functional based component. Okay. 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 And you were telling about the ref. So can you tell me about it? What is ref? Sir, so, uh, refs are nothing but the reference in the uh, in the React, which gives the reference to the. It's actually like a prop, sir. But mm -hmm. in ref, we don't need to again pass directly. We can go to the DOM element with the ref. Like basically, refs are used to uh, like uh, in may, many cases out of focus in, mm -hmm. in like that scenarios. We should uh, not overuse the ref. Uh, do you have any idea about the control component and uncontrolled component? Yes, sir. Control component and uncontrolled. I have read, sir. <laughs> But I... can you explain, or you just forget? Uh, yeah, actually, I know, sir. But I am unable to recall that. Oh, okay. No, no, no worries. Okay. Uh, higher order function. Have you heard about? Yeah, in JavaScript, I I know sir, higher order function. Can you explain? So higher order functions are the functions which takes the callback function as an argument. These are the higher order functions, sir. For example, dot map, dot filter. These are higher order functions. Okay. Ah, uh, can you explain about the map filter and reduce? Yes, sir. 
map map is used to iterate the iterate like iterate in between the objects sir uh, if we want to add some values to the every element we can use map uh, filter is used to filter the records sir like if the value is greater than like suppose if the age is greater than 28 we need to find uh, get the value so we can use filter method filter uh, value dot filter value which is greater than 28 like that okay what is the difference between a state and props in react js uh, props are nothing but properties sir uh, which uh, we uh, we can pass a prop props uh, from function to its uh, child sir yeah. props can we can uh, props are nothing but the, we can give the data dynamically which i used to give the data dynamically state mm -hmm. is nothing but which this, uh, which tells us the state of the uh, elements like uh, it is uh, initially it is what state and after mounting in what state it is like that we can uh, what is route a router in react the uh, router is a, uh, routing is something but like uh, switching tab uh, switching tabs in between i guess i have not it actually uh, it is basically used to navigate to yeah uh, navigate from one component to the other component yeah, yes sir. like if you have home service and contact the we can do the routing do you know uh, do you have any idea about the server side rendering no okay no worries do you know how to optimize the performance of a web application do you have any idea about it yeah we can optimize the like uh, we can reduce the size of images and we can modify the meta tags the okay. code uh, the nested component should be avoided mm -hmm. any other things that's the same okay no worries do you know about the flex box yes sir flex box uh, what it does sir flex box is actually used for styling the components sir uh, flex box with flex box we can arrange the elements in uh, in particular manner like in flex box takes an arguments like uh, flex uh, display flex uh, flex direction and flex uh, like align content flex wrap uh, flex wrap like with mm -hmm. this we can access so like uh, with the flex box the uh, in default behavior of the page will be responsive sir. okay so last question that i will ask uh, what is the difference between uh, the virtual dom and uh, real dom can you explain uh, uh, real dom is nothing but uh, actually storing the all the uh, elements in the real dom which takes memory virtual dom is a copy of the real dom uh, in react uses the virtual dom concept sir if the in virtual dom uh, if the component is changed or added means it will just check the changed part and it will update to the real dom and mm -hmm. op operating with the real dom is costly sir because every time it it need to uh, destroy and it need to create so it makes us difficult so virtual do with virtual do we can make it fast just by comparing the comparing it with the previous do original do yeah. that's fine uh, ritikesh uh, i'm done with the interview do you have any question